the news of Michael Nesmith dying was like a long, slow punch. At first it was an, oh no, and then it was tears. But what I couldn't understand is what the tears were for. I was just a baby when the monkeys first came on TV, and I didn't discover them until I was still very young, and that was on afternoon reruns. These are specifically at my grandmother's beach house. I was so excited when the show came on the strange cable channels that were so different than the channels at my home. The monkeys were a special gift that seemed to be associated with the ocean and the beach and the summer and a grandmother that I loved so much. The day after hearing of Michael Nesmith's passing, a line from a song came to mind. I hope the world sees the same person that you always were to me and may all your favorite bands stay together. Again, the tears started, and this time I realized I needed to figure out what was happening to me. So I started watching videos of him on YouTube and realized he was even more talented than I had thought of as a, when I was a young girl. When I was little, I loved Mickey. He reminded me of my uncle, and he was silly, and he made funny faces. He was a safe, benign crush for a young child, but Michael was something totally different. He was smart, handsome in a very natural way, with his thick dark hair and large sideburns that I still find very attractive in a man. He was also tall and he sang with a voice so clear, I just didn't remember that it was so beautiful. Yet even now, this man in videos from 50 years ago was still so beautiful to me. He was the past, but here in the present, and now he was gone forever. In those years long ago, I not only wanted to meet the monkeys, I wanted to live their life. I wanted to dress in the 1960s clothes and live in a funky house by the beach. I wanted to have adventures, fall in love, and sing in a rock and roll band. <laughs> most especially, I wanted to live in California. This was my dream for most of my life. To make movies, music, whatever, and live in the sun by the palm trees and crystal blue ocean. To be a hippie, alternative, I'd be happy and cute and popular, and my life would be filled with the joy shown in those old TV shows. It never happened that way, of course. When I finally made it to Santa Monica, I ran to the ocean, like in the opening of the TV show maybe, and put my feet in the water. I was here, I'd made it. Surely the sun was brighter in California, and surely my life would be better here. All the dreams I had as a child could come true, at least in some fashion, and I could live the sort of life which I'd always dreamed of. But like I said, none of that ever happened. So lying in bed last night, I dreamed of Michael Nesmith. I was with him somewhere in a house, and he was speaking to me, and we were talking. The colors in the dream were so vivid and bright, and he was so handsome. And I remember saying or feeling to him that I missed him so much and I couldn't handle that he was gone. And then I woke up. When I awoke, something was very clear to me that I had been denying before. Obviously, Michael Nesmith was gone. Yet if I had met him, say, two years ago, he wouldn't have been the man in the videos and on the old TV show any more than I was still six or 16 or 24 years old. That time had passed. The man that existed then had been gone for a long time and now forever. My favorite band didn't stay together. But that was the realization. They can't. They can't stay together. It can't. And I can't get my youth back, my hopes back, my dreams back, or my Michael Nesmith back. Michael's dying not only illuminated the passage of time, but this realization that I can't go back because back is not there. It hasn't been for years and years and years. The only place I can go is forward. The last video I watched was Papa Jean's Blues. It, it was a clip from the TV show. The camera was close up on Michael as he finished singing the song. He sang, I have no more than I did before, but now I've got all that I need. Yes, I love you, and I know you love me. As he sang the last line, he smiled and looked directly into the camera and winked at me. <laughs> he winked at all of us. Mm -hmm.